and hostess zone is a container that holds information about how you want to route traffic within that particular domain such as example.com so friends now let's begin with our next lecture which is uh, about route 53 route 53 is a dns service uh, so let's understand what is route 53 if you have watched all the basic videos i think you must be very well aware of what is dns but still we will touch base upon what is dns through route 53 because it is a dns service offered by aws so the concepts remains the same it's just that it is something proprietary to aws it's as simple as that so if you go by the definition it is it is a scalable highly available domain name system web service it is designed to give developers and businesses an extremely reliable cost effective way to route end users to internet applications by translating human readable names like www.example.com as you can see in the diagram if you are uh, an end user and if you want to reach a server you won't be able to remember the ip address of that server because uh, you are not a computer right you are not a robot so for that we use user friendly names like google.com microsoft.com anything amazon.com and eventually when you type that on your browser there is a dns resolver which eventually goes to route 53 or any other dns service uh, it could be on cloud it could be on prem uh, and and that returns you the actual ip address where you need to go and and that's what is basically dns in a very simple terms on the right, you can see that it is a FQDN for our uh, FQDN for our understanding. It is called as fully qualified domain name. In this, we have various parts which, you know, which is uh, important for us to know. For example, api.aws.amazon.com. Everything starts from the root. Okay, so this, this part, this dot, which you see is the root domain. After that, the .com you see is the top level domain. Amazon.com, .amazon.com is the second level domain. And then this aws.amazon.com is the subdomain. And when you add your host, which is in this case an API, it could be IP address, it could be anything. It could be the host name of your server. Then that particular host will be you know, will add up to your full uh, domain name and it will be called as fully qualified domain name. And this will translate into an IP address when you will hit it and when it will get resolved uh, using a DNS mechanism, which we'll understand in the next uh, section. All right, guys. So now next is a quick demo of Route 53. Obviously, we can't do anything because we can't purchase a domain. Uh, it costs money. So what I will do, I will give you, I'll show you the UI, how it looks and just give you a feel of how Route 53 looks as a service. So let's go to our AWS console and see how Route 53 is and how it works. So as always, we we'll look for Route 53 on the search bar and uh, this is the Route 53 dashboard, but just let's go to the home screen of Route 53 first. So this is the way it looks. Uh, there are multiple options which are given what you can do with uh, Route 53, but we will be focusing on domain names uh, to keep it simple for now, but there could be multiple use like resolver using for traffic flow. So the first thing which we have to do is register a domain. Everything restarts from a domain, right? So we suppose we have a website and we want to use a domain for it. Uh, so how we have hosted it, for example, on a server and we want to register a domain. So for that, you first need to buy a domain or transfer a domain if you already have one. So for example, in our S3 video, we created a website AWS for dummies dot uh, com or I think what was it I don't recall but then if you search for it you have all these different options dot org dot com dot info and there are there's a cost of buying this domain once you purchase this domain you can then uh, use route 53 to set up uh, everything from name server and multiple things you can do if you have any domain you can transfer it so if you are already have purchased it from GoDaddy or Google domains or wherever you can use transferring and use it within that and within that then you can create hosted zones 
and hostess zone is a container that holds information about how you want to route traffic within that particular domain such as example.com okay so you could have a publicly hosted zone you, uh, where anyone could approach it or a private hosted zone for only within the amazon vpc it will work for okay so yeah this is a quick overview uh, obviously we can't do much but i hope you get a feel of what is route 53 and you can further uh, explore this at your own time so see you in the next chapter thank you